Hi, good morning. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Kim, and I'm doing a little speaking with you this morning on June 4th, just to share with you something that I'm learning um, that God is showing me in the Word, in His Holy Bible. This is my Bible. <laughs> and what He's showing me is the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer is known from Matthew chapter 6 verses 9 to verse 13 that a lot of churches you know teaches and preaches on from too and in this scripture right is jesus speaking and teaching us how to pray and what i'm finding is that jesus is teaching us through prayer we can find our purpose in god god in prayer is showing us our purpose and i see this in the lord's prayer but before i go into the lord's prayer with you this morning I want to read with you, taken from um, Matthew chapter 6, go a little further, in Matthew chapter 6, starting from verse 5, it says, And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily, I say unto you, they have their rewards. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father, the Father being God the Father, the Almighty Creator, right? Back to the scripture now. Which is in secret, and thy Father which sees it in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetition, as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things you have need of before you ask him. But God does want that relationship with us. He wants us to be in communication with us. So even though God knows, some people say, you know, God knows what I have need of. I don't need to ask. I don't need to seek him. I don't need to pray. Yes, he does know because he is all-knowing, right? He's omnipotent. But he does want a relationship with you, a conversation with you. Will you talk to him? So that way, you, that's what prayer is about, hearing from God, having that relationship with, from, with God, and finding your purpose in your relationship with God. He created us. We came from him. Hallelujah. There's a purpose he has for you and me on this earth, this day, this time, and this season. Spend time with him in prayer. Ask him about it. God, what is your plan for me here? How can I fulfill your plan for me here? Now, when we get to the Lord's Prayer, now we're at Matthew chapter 6, starting with verse 9. Listen to what it says here. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Hallelujah. That was the Lord's Prayer. And it is so much, it's so deep in those oh, short four verses, right? But it's a lot that Jesus is speaking here. Hallelujah. Prayer is an essential tool and relationship we have with God. And Jesus is showing us to come to your Father. Hallelujah. Let's go through this scripture. It says, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. How great is our Father, God. Hallelujah. You have a Father. Hallelujah. Your Father has a Father. His Father has a Father. We all, our ancestors have a Father, Father the Father, which is God. Hallelujah. As we're about to, we're in June and Father's Day is going to be celebrated. Our ultimate Father is God. Hallelujah. And He's showing us how great He is, His name. And that His kingdom is come here now. 
Lord, that we want your kingdom here now. And your kingdom is here now. Hallelujah. We the church. The church is us. God's kingdom is here now. And we're asking for God's way in this prayer. For God to have his way to be done here on this earth now. His kingdom. As it is in heaven. Because our God sits high. Hallelujah. And heaven has a kingdom. And also we welcome his kingdom into the earthly realm. Right now to have his way. For him to rule. As sovereign as he is. Hallelujah. Give us this day. Now we're asking for our daily bread. Our food which is. Your, your word of truth for Father God. Your word that you give to us, Father God. The provision you're giving to us, oh God. That we may be able to reflect your kingdom here. To live out the principles of your kingdom here on earth. Lord, Heavenly Father. And forgive, hallelujah. Forgive our debtors as you have forgiven our debts. Hallelujah. So that we can have relationship with others, hallelujah, on this earth. This is the purpose in this prayer. We can have relationship with others, with those who are seeking, those who need, hallelujah, to know the truth. Because we are his ambassadors to his kingdom. Hallelujah. We are his children in his kingdom. That we could tell other people and share about this great kingdom of God. Whatever you're going through in your life right now, God is saying he has.